Do you use Jotform and QuickBooks? Well, get ready to save time and ensure your accuracy with our newest integration with QuickBooks. Hey, Jotformers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly, and as you can see, I'm currently in the desktop version of my dashboard. And like I mentioned, this is going to save you so much time, and it's also going to ensure that the data that is transferred into QuickBooks is accurate instead of you having to manually enter in those invoices. So for this example, I've already created a form, so let's go ahead and navigate to it. I'm gonna use our order form, which is the very top one. I'm gonna hover over and choose Edit Form. And as you can see, I already have name, email, and phone number in our form. Now for this example, there are a lot of different ways that you can utilize this with QuickBooks. Now I'm going to highlight all of them, but I'm gonna dive a little bit deeper into the very last one. So if I scroll down, we see we have service options one. This is a single choice element. Then we have service options number two, which is a multiple choice element. And then we have service options number three, which is a drop down element with the same two products. Then at the very bottom, we have the product list, and this is going to be the one that we're going to dive into. But if you would like to utilize one of these top three options, let me show you how to do this. So if I choose the single choice option and I choose the properties, if I head to the options tab, this is where I can input the services that I'm wanting to offer. But down below, this is where we're going to add in the prices for each one of these services. Whenever you bring in the element, calculated values is going to be off. So you'll want to turn this on. Your services will automatically be here and you just need to add in the prices. Now, one thing to take note of is the services that you're offering within your job form need to match exactly the services within QuickBooks. So let's go ahead and jump over to my QuickBooks products and services so we can see what this looks like. Right down here, we have the web design for 700 and then we have the brand logo for 200. So just make sure that the line items match exactly. So let's go ahead and head back over to my order form. It's going to be the exact same for the multiple choice. Up in options, you can have your services here, and then again, calculated values down here, and then our drop down right here, and calculated values right down here. Now you probably noticed that I also have another field right down here, quantity. This is a number form element. Now, if you're going to be using one of these top three, you're going to need to add in that number element and you're going to need to pass values. So if you wanna try that, be sure to check out the video on passing values, but let's go ahead and scroll down. We're gonna take a look at our product list. If I do my product list, if we're starting from scratch, you'll come here, you'll create a brand new product. We have web design for 700, brand logo for 200. If we need to edit that, we can right here. We can choose images, but I think we are good. Now, if you're wanting to utilize a payment gateway within JotForm, all you need to do is click right here to add that payment integration. Let's go ahead and head up to settings and let's get this integration going. So over on the left-hand side, we're going to choose integrations. We'll choose QuickBooks. And if it's not here, we can always use the search option at the top. And there are two different things that we can do with this integration. We can create a new customer and we can create a new invoice. Now for this example, I'm just going to create a new invoice because when we create a new invoice, it's gonna look very similar to creating a new customer and I can walk you through that at the same time. So let's go ahead and choose next. Now, this is where you're going to sync up your QuickBooks account. So if I choose new account, we have two different options. We have a production mode and we have a sandbox mode. So if this is your first time doing this, I highly encourage you to utilize the sandbox mode. This is going to allow you to test to make sure that everything works perfectly and seamlessly before you put it in a production mode. Since I already have one, I'm gonna go ahead and click back. We're gonna use this account right here. We're gonna add our first action. Now, like I mentioned before, this section right up here, this is what it looks like on the create customer option. So right here we have a customer display name. I want that to be the name field, which is going to be the first and last name. Then we're gonna go ahead and just start adding in each one of these form fills. We'll do first name and last name. And since we also had their email and their phone number, we'll go ahead and pull those in as well. Perfect. Now, if we scroll down, this is where we're going to be creating that invoice. Now you can see it right here, it says line item one. So each of these need to match exactly, again, 
the line items that are in your products and services within QuickBooks. So here you can see we have item name. If I choose the select field from the order form, we have these three different options. We have the single choice, multiple choice, or the drop down. But again, I'm going to utilize the product list for this example. So we're going to use my products. Then for the quantity, we can have predetermined options if we would like. Again, we can pull from that quantity form field that we put, but we're using our product list. So product list quantity, and then the price again is coming from our product list. Now, if we have additional line items, we can add those in as well. And if we want to utilize tax, we can turn the invoice fields off for this. We'll go ahead and turn that off and let's hit save. All right, we have officially created our create invoice action. So let's go ahead and preview this form in the top right hand corner. And I'm going to use the fill form button. Now, if we scroll down, we can see that things are checked and there is a number in the quantity field. However, because these are not mapped within the integration, they're not going to pull through. So I'm going to come down here. Let's say I want one website design and I do want one brand logo. So we're good to go there. We can see the total is $900. We'll go ahead and submit. Now let's head over to QuickBooks and I'm gonna jump over to my customers. And here we see Barbara Smith right here at the top. We have her total invoice and we can click on the receive payment button so we can see exactly what that invoice is going to look like. Now, one final thing I wanna show you is back over in JotForm. If we head out of the preview option, top left hand corner where it says form builder, we're gonna switch this over to tables. Now, another way that you can utilize a QuickBooks integration is through tables, and this is through a button. So if I'm in my tables, if I scroll all the way to the right, I'm going to choose to add a new column. We'll choose buttons and then send data to other apps, and you'll go through that process to get it set up with QuickBooks. And it really is as simple as that. If you have any questions about integrating your job form with QuickBooks, let us know down below in the comments. If you like this video and you got some value, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.